There's a saying that your family will always be there for you through thick and thin, whether that is health related or even financial. We continue our series called Paycheck to Paycheck, where we take a look at how the rising cost of living is affecting folks across the coastal bend. And it's something that has many families reconsidering their own living arrangements, opening their homes to loved ones in an effort to save money. Our Bill Churchwell joins us now with that story. So Bill, what all did you find out? Well, it's called multi-generational living. And according to research, more families are choosing to live under one roof. Whether that's adults moving back with their aging parents or even grandparents who share a home with their grown grandchildren, sharing financial responsibilities to lessen the burden of rising costs. Never wear it, but my mom gave it to me, and it's my dad's. For Melissa Yendork, family is everything. I moved back from Houston back in 2005 after a divorce and uh, ended up staying with my mom. And I was with her for five years, and uh, until I got back on my feet, I had two boys, two young kids. Her sons, now young men, 29-year-old James here to the left, and that's 24-year-old Ernest Jr. on the right. My 24-year-old has Asperger's. He's on the spectrum, but he is... He's so smart. She enjoys how close they've become, the three even sharing an apartment. We have created this unity of just us living together, and of course the older one works and he helps pay bills, but I, I wouldn't be able to make it without him. Yendorch says despite raises at her job, it's not enough. And just recently, I didn't qualify for insurance anymore through the clinic card because I made $30 too much. According to a 2021 Pew Research Center survey, there are more families just like Yendorks who are choosing to live together. In fact, that trend of multi-generational living shows no signs of slowing down. You have to remember we're in the coastal bend, La Familia. Christopher Monroe is in the short-term rental business and has a background in finance. Two units in the main building. He says multi-generational living can be a smart option, no matter your situation. As rates and prices continue to rise, um, I think you're going to see more and more families start moving back in with each other. If you are considering this option to move in with family, have a candid conversation. Do you want separate living areas? Do you want defined living areas? Is everything just sort of communal? He says it's also important to go over house rules. Are you going to have pets? You know, are you messy? My situation. Yendork is doing whatever she can to take a more proactive approach with budgeting, reoccurring expenses, and being prepared for the unexpected ones. Making choices like not going out to eat, cooking at home, you know, getting more bang for your buck. And as folks walk that thin line of paycheck to paycheck, it could mean the difference of taking your kids to the doctor. We'll have a look at why the Amistad Clinic is seeing an increase of patients this year and the different options parents have to make sure their children are getting the proper and affordable health care they need. That's tomorrow on 3 News at 10. Back to you. All right, looking forward to part three of that report, Bill. Thank you.